Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Ghost Thief Deadly Shadows. Today we're going to tackle day six out in the city, and a lot happens today. It's a big one, kind of like day three. So let's get started. We start off, of course, in Stone Market Plaza outside the wreckage of the Fallen Clock Tower. One of our recurring arrows is gone. We can't get to that little square anymore, which means that that uh, gas arrow that we've been getting from there every day no longer exists. So, get the moss arrow at the bottom of Mr. Brent's stairway. And as you can see, there's now a watchman over here, which makes things a little more complicated. Not terribly so, though. We can head out here, and very little has changed. We can wait until we see the watchman heading away from us, and we'll bounce up to Mr. Brent's apartment. There he goes. So let's go visit Mr. Brent. Who you'll immediately notice is gone. I guess somehow he died in the accident, but... My goodness, that's the easiest trip we have ever had to get that purse. Wouldn't you say? I sure would. What's up? Uh, hush up. I want to head down here. I do have to be careful of the watchman who patrols this street here. Make sure you get the uh, silver out of the keeper's storeroom before you go to the library. Once we go to the library, the door glyphs are going to be deactivated and we won't be able to use them. So I'm going to do everything I can before I head to the library. So let's get into the storeroom. Good day. The extra watchman outside the wreckage has made things a little bit more complicated, but nothing too serious. So since we're here and we're on the other side of that watchman, I'm going to come this direction And I think the, I think this watchman is still in full effect, so we'll wait here for him to turn around, and then we'll follow him to the opposite side of Tursus Courtyard to get that moss arrow. As you can see, Tursus Courtyard is still there, but you can see a fire burning. The main issue, of course, is that we can't go out the other side anymore. Now that we have this moss arrow, I want to... Everything on sale tomorrow, 20% wow. oh, off. Fuck. I'm gonna wait till I see the watchman, okay. Streets tonight, they got me a feeling. I need to clear the tavern, like always, and... Then I'm gonna head to Stone Market proper first. We get a new section of the city today. Once we do go back to the Keeper Library, we end up in Old Quarter. And the enforcers populate the streets after our visit to the library. The presence of the enforcers makes everything much harder, so I want to clear everything I can before those guys show up. So let's clear the tavern. I had the patroller yesterday and I'm beginning to think it just switches off every day. But I might be wrong about that. Yep, I've got the patroller two days in a row. 
Let's just hope I've got a good layout on the wine bottles. I hate having to deal with the falling junk bottle. I've been lucky. I haven't had it two days in a row. So it probably will show up today, but maybe not. Anyway, let's just... But I saw something. Oh, well, I shouldn't have to deal with the Forget junk it. bottle. That much is good news, but I have no idea why he's staring at the door behind him. That makes following him a little bit harder. Let's try again. Okay, let's go. Well, no, let's, let's get him when he's past us. Come from the other side. Should have gone to sea, like my brothers before me. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. All right, let's get the coins first. Twenty-five each, as usual. Get back to the wall. Park it here. He'll yellow alert when he sees him gone. For some reason, he doesn't see them until he patrols out toward the stairway. That's odd. Wasn't Probably there a... my own echo? Probably my own echo. <laughs> well, you're oh, hilarious, Betty. Nothing there after always happen on my shift. We got two Start Bennies in here. Again. Excellent. I need to stay away from coffee <coughs> for real this time. How you was it then? Evening. Who was he talking to? Must have been a mix up in the uniforms. Hands feel too tight. Boots <sighs> I'm gonna have blisters for sure. <laughs> He must what, be upstairs. I, I guess I could say I just don't like one. Alright, let's get the two good bottles. A hundred each, as usual. Thankfully, I didn't have to deal with the junk bottle falling. That's always nice. I think I made it just in time. Yes, excellent. Let's just slip out behind him. Alright, that's it for the tavern. Now we just need to grab the last moss arrow on the way in the stone market proper. And as always, watch for this watchman. Good. Quiet night? And into Stone Market proper we go. If I remember right, nothing has changed here. Let's read the crime report from day five. City Watch Crime Report, District of Stone Market. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of Stone Market. Zero citizens were murdered. Zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head. Zero items of valuable property were reported stolen. Five locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch authority. Signed, the Office of the Commissioner. Very good. Now let's go ahead and deal with this guy and his yellow alert, which always happens when we take his piece of silver. It can't have gone off by itself. Worth 50, as always, plus his two broadheads. 
So I'll wait for his alert to settle. Who'd be creeping around at this hour anyway? I might have to hold position in here for a minute. I might have time to get out. A few more afternoons at the practice yard and I'll get it. Okay, How good. do you do? Ah, bugger off. So he's heading off behind the station right now, or into the station even. So let's get our three gold coins out of the donation box. 75 each, like always. The torch, or the fire arrow in the torch in the back alley. I'll just take a second and go ahead and sell all my metal and gems to Black Market Bertha. What you up to today? Hey, Garrett. And with that done, let's get the water arrow off of the pipe here. And I'll take my usual route into the stonecutter's house. You'll notice old quarter is still sealed. We have to go to the keeper Make library. Sure you check out my place tonight, officer. And trigger I don't care whether they're rich or poor. Trigger the Just plot advancements before we can uh and then we'll just spawn in Old Quarter after our visit to the library. So let's get this moss arrow. Can't forget that. And let's wait for the second watchman to leave. Streets tonight. They got me a feeling. Would it kill him to say thanks once in a while? Thankless job, this. Pounding the streets night after night. Keep on pounding those streets, buddy. There he goes. Well, let's creep into the stonecutter's house. It will, as always, trigger a green alert from our friend there. Give him time to settle. I'll go grab the copper ring upstairs. Another 25 as usual. I should be good to close it now. In here, there's the usual ruby and pile of silver coins, 125 and 50. And they're probably the usual two Hammerites out here. Hey. No, there's a watch there and two Hammerites. Let's quick load. Well, the watchman's new. Getting the gas arrow may be harder than before. I hear no patrollers when I lean into the door, but that doesn't mean much, as you can tell. I guess metal doors are noisier, and they also don't conduct sound as well as wooden ones. As, I mean, you saw me, I leaned right into it and I heard nothing. So... What are my options? Let's see if waiting a few seconds works. Yes, nope. He's even closer. I wonder if there's a better way to do this now that I have the climbing gloves. Let's find out. Is that... ah. Just some sounds, uh, wind or something. <laughs> Heard that. <gasps> Found you! Seriously, now yellow alerted. Hmm. If it makes me go all the way out to the balcony, I'm not gonna be happy. I'm just trying to see if I haven't tried this yet, but now that I do have the climbing gloves, I feel like maybe I can 
climb over the old quarter entrance and just go straight across and avoid like the usual green alert from this fellow. Nothing. Not even sure I heard anything at all. Okay, let's quick save again. Let's try this again. Thought I heard. That's better. Just a green alert. Well, my mistake. Sorry. Good. That all looks good. It's not like I can. Well, I don't like... Maybe. Maybe. It's possible. Let's see. Hmm. Thought I saw... Light like this. It makes you think you see things. Well, before I get too worked up about anything, I need to check on whether or not it's actually possible. climbing on. Did I just see something? Yeah, okay, that isn't going to work. Well, if it's green alerts either way... I'd rather... <laughs> I'd rather just cross the street. So, let's head over there. Let's be a little more careful getting past these barrels. And, I don't know whether speed or Solid or slowness will work better. Let's find out. Thought I saw. Hey, I saw something like a. Not sure. Okay, that's a yellow. All right, let's try speed this time. See if that works any better. It's too far a distance for me to have a lot of confidence in it, but we'll give it a try. Evening. Good thing about the streets. Huh. There's always an alley I can duck into in a pinch. Well, this whole time, that's been possible without even a green alert. How do you like that? As it just goes to show, you should always be willing to experiment and question your assumptions. So now I can get the moss arrow out of this tree. And let's... Let's look at our three guardians of the gas arrow. Then go ahead and clear the armory. My ears verily do be someone there. Okay. Better wait. The armory, I may very well be able to use the climbing gloves to clear because I remember the balcony entrance up on the second floor bedroom. Good evening. Nice to see you. Well, I might not even need the gloves can probably mantle onto the barrel and then onto the awning. Let's, let's try that. See how it goes. Age me, Master Builder, and all the things that I must do. Guide me, Master Builder, and for all my days I'll serve you true. Okay. <laughs> Thought that Who wasn't gonna work. I think I need to 
get just a little bit farther for that to work. Well, I don't think that's going to work. I meant higher. I need to mantle onto the stone edging. I'll just be on my way. Here to my left. From here, I should be able to get over the balcony. Yes? Huh? Shh, brother. Of course, there's another metal door up here. Garrett's proclivity to jump strangely still gets me in trouble. I'm just going to have to time the hammers, I think. That, that's a pain, because as you can see, today... I'll just be on my way. They're pretty well separated from each other. Oh, come, come on, forth, Garrett! Instead of mantling onto the railing, he's just immediately starting to relentlessly jump on the wood on the other side. It's maddening. All right, well, let's see if this is any better. Why, yes, it is. No one heard that. So we can move all the way downstairs. Well, I wish I had figured this out sooner. Oh well. We can get the two broadhead arrows here. We can get the coins out of the safe. And I vote we go out the same way. Let's head upstairs and... That just leaves us with the gas arrow, and we'll be done in Stone Market proper. Of course, I don't know if closing the door will go as well as opening it did. Closing is always louder, but... If worse comes to worst, I can just leave it open, but I don't think it'll come to that. There we go. Evening, right? You want to jump to the awning, because that is a blessedly silent surface to land on. Alright, with Cothran's armory clear, the only place we th thing we need to do is get the gas arrow, but that might be tough with that hammer. I think twas nothing after all. There's got to be a better way down that won't green alert anyone. Hold on. If I can make it over to that stone wall, I could just climb down. They ought to have an investigation. Clock towers can just come crashing down on their own. Well, I can probably just run over and hit this wall on the left. Not doing nothing. Sounds easiest to me, although I have to be wary of the patrolling hammerites. Oh, can't quite get under there. What sound dust come? Okay, let's try something else. I could try to just time the drop. Probably isn't that hard to do. I don't quite think I can... I don't quite think I can make a jump all the way across the street, but maybe I can. Aha! And we're down. 
Nice and quiet. I'm doing my part, keeping the criminal element at bay. But who's holding up the buildings? No one, apparently. All right. Let's see. This guard may well make it impossible for me to get the gas arrow. Because he's not going to give me time. Not to mention the two Hammerites who are still doing their little circle. Is it too much to ask they keep these buildings from falling down on us? Ain't done nothing to Evening deserve that. Right. This is going to be is tough. I could come back for it after the enforcers are in the street because they'll just start killing everybody. And at some point, <laughs> the chaos will probably give me an opening. But... <laughs> Don't think I imagined that. Let me see here. Should check the door. Yeah. Clock tower comes huh? there. Look there. I mean, the gas arrow is redundant at this point. You can only carry five. I have five. I'm never gonna use them. But still, it'd be nice to figure out a way to beat Pardon, these sir. guys. I could first alert him. Hey you! Back off! Some kind of... Chaos bells! Hey, He's in the streets! Dang. If I can keep it to a correctly timed green alert, he should just pause. I'll take a green alert. As long as I can keep my ghost intact. Let's try it. What's it? Dang! I tell you, it almost worked. Almost. I think I just need to get the get the timing a little bit better. Achoo! Some kind of little noise. Nothing. No surprise. Nothing ever happens around here. Huh? Again? No, it is not then. There we go. Clock tower comes crashing down, missing me by inches. Green Does alerts. Even say you okay, Clara? No. And no. only green There's alerts. No person in the whole stinking town. So since the Hammerites, I know, just walk a nice little circle around the apothecaries, I'm just gonna wait until the watchman's back is turned and follow one of the hammers to get out of this area. Hello there. How dost thou do? Should bring me right back out here, which is a fine place to be. I just need to slip in behind the Hammerite. And now I need to get back across the street. Or, yeah, you know what I mean. Someone there? Okay. He yellowed that time. It was only a green last time.
Well, no. Last time it was no alert at all. So. Good day. Nice to see you. What's the answer here, I wonder? Be something in that shaft a minute. Yeah, that's a yellow, or else he wouldn't have turned. But I know I can do it with only a green. I mean, if I could go the other way Good day. without nice any you. alert at all, I should definitely be able to keep this to a green. Let's wait for that hammerite to get here and turn around. <sighs> Dang it! Maybe I'm too focused on getting into that little shadow. Maybe I should just sprint all the way across into the alley. Try it that way. Good day. Evening to you. As far out of his field of vision as possible, of course. <gasps> Who was that? Oh no, that's a yellow for sure. Can he turn around for a green alert? Because he's not saying yellow alert words, but he is turning, which I don't think he should do if it's just a green. Evening. Evening to you. Hard to say. Alright, that time we got it with just a green, which I am happy to take, believe you me. So that was a lot more complicated than I thought it was going to be, but we got it done, that's all that matters. Now back to Stone Market Plaza, just so we can head to South Quarter. Nothing fancy, just a straight run around the tavern like we've done so many times before. That should get me through to South Quarter. Now that I'm here in South Quarter, I'm going to do a real save just because I have those two other areas cleared and I'm going to take a little break. I'll be right back. I'm just going to stop the recording and then restart it without unpausing. Hi everybody. Sorry about that. Let's tackle South Quarter like we were planning. Once you get about to here, I think the people spawn in behind you. All those fish. Never oh, stank off. looks like maybe I can keep maybe him from spawning those, uh, things, if I uh, keep my eyes in that direction, tough. which is interesting. No bath. <laughs> no, but I ain't got a tub. I ain't got no soap. Anyway, I'm going to start with the gas arrow, like usual. <laughs> oh, come on, G. There you go. There, we're gonna get the two broadheads inside the watch post. One, two. We'll take advantage of the crawl space here to get to the fountain. We'll grab the two water arrows out of there. Read the crime report. 
City Watch Crime Report, District of South Quarter. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of South Quarter. Zero citizens were murdered, zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head, four items of valuable property were reported stolen, zero locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch authority, signed to the office of the Commissioner. And with that, we will head into Garrett's building. Nothing going on here yet. Things will get pretty hairy later. But for now, all we have to do is the usual loot the landlord's apartment. It contains two broadhead arrows inside the chest, and this time a gold bowl on the shelf above the desk. Worth 125. Let's see if there's anything in Garrett's actual room. I don't believe there is. Let's get our practice done right quick. Oops. Now there's one other thing I'm actually going to do while I'm here. This is a supreme bust, but trust me, it's a necessary one. I am going to put out Garrett's fire. We'll be back here later, and we'll need that. In addition, I'm gonna need to take all of this junk off of Garrett's end table. I'm gonna pinch out the candle as well. I mean, technically these are supreme busts, but it seems like little more than a technicality given that this is Garrett's own apartment. <laughs> but still, rules are rules. So I took two supreme busts there, pinching out the candle. Well, three, moving the junk and putting out the fire in the fireplace. But trust me, later on in day six, we'll be glad we took those precautionary measures. Let's head back out to South Quarter now. Next, I'm gonna head over and get the two broadheads near the well. I don't believe I've ever seen a watchman heading that way before. Interesting. Get the fire arrow out of this house. Nice and easy. Head to the other watch station, get those two broadheads. Maybe we should go this way. Yep, nobody here. Let's get this guy's me. copper coins as as always. As soon as he turns back and actually makes it into his stall. With those in hand, we're good to go to Black Alley, where we can open up the sewer grate, get a water arrow and a purse, <laughs> finally head down here and get the moss arrow out of the bush, and stop by Heartless Perry just to fence the metal and gems we're carrying. What's the word on the street? I need some good news for a change and with that done we're gonna head to the docks hmm. don't look too familiar Millie said they got a position open down near the docks but when I asked 
asked her if it were sweeping or cooking. She got a funny look on her face. Maybe it's both. Whoa. I thought he was walking a full loop. Oh, I guess he is. He just needed to turn around for a second, scope things out. I'll wait till I see him turn left and head up that ramp. And into the docks we go. So the first thing I'm going to do here is get the fire arrow up at the old quarter entrance. Go ahead and read last night's crime report. City Watch Crime Report, District of the Docks. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of the docks. Zero citizens were murdered. Zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head. Five items of valuable property were reported stolen. Two locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch authority. Signed, the Office of the Commissioner. Alright, no surprises there. Let's go... let's go over here. Clear out the pagan territory. So get the fire arrow across from the fence shot... fences. Get the gas arrow up above it. I'll go ahead and visit Dahlia to sell off my artwork. Hope you got some something good, Garrett. Business. Planters, bees, then elegantes, or sweet briar, or goodsy vine. <laughs> yeah, and reapers them on the season's endings. They be spooked, and animals can sense things we bees can't. I'm not worried about that. You saw me. I was standing still, and the rest might still flipped out. I don't care about that little comment. Anyway, get the water arrow to the left as we approach the entrance. And I've played ahead a little bit into day seven, and I've had a change of heart about some of the side missions. I'm still not killing rust mites or mossing cornerstones, but later on when we get to day seven, there's some actual loot. And simply taking that loot involves a big gain in Hammerite faction status. I mean, it's a wand that you pickpocket. I'm gonna take it because it's worth 200 gold, so I have to for Perfect Thief, but at that point I've done a big side mission for the Hammerites. So, in the interest of balance or whatever, get the moss arrow next to this tree. I've had a change of heart about the pagan sapling. I'm gonna go ahead and plant it while I'm here. So get across the bridge, grab the moss arrow from this bush, and completing those two side missions that way, planting the sapling and pickpocketing the necromancer's wand, will result in both factions upgrading to neutral, which will make running around the city streets easier, but still won't allow me into their territories, which I think is probably good. And in the streets, neutral means that they won't try to kill me. It doesn't mean they'll attack anything that's after me. That only happens when they're allied. So anyway, on this table, as usual, we can grab a flash bomb. And then we'll want to get the copper coins off of the bar. Before I do any of that, I think I'll plant the sapling. So as you can see, that bumped me up to neutral for the pagans. Big gain in status. Uh oh.
Hmm. Well, all bees would see well. Green alert. Oh well. <laughs> Get the copper off the bar. He'll yellow alert when he notices it missing, like usual. Because I'm still not supposed to be in here. I think so, anyway. Yeah, there we go. So, once we make it upstairs, we still have the two noisemaker arrows in the table. And we still have the coins in the chest. Then we'll be done. You'll notice that the shaman is still missing. Which, as always, makes this significantly easier than it would otherwise have been. Well, that was pretty good timing. <coughs> that wasn't good, though. <laughs> 